Hello and welcome to another mod review. My name is Hardcore Panda, and today I'll be reviewing the Nanites mod. This mod is by Masterplan, Max SS, Garrett Thirteen, and Kreutzkopf, who are collaborating to make this mod. Now, this mod allows you. It, first of all, it adds a new block, which allows you to take the area around the block and basically put it in the block, so for easy transportation and we'll take a look at that in a little bit. So to start off, what you'll need is to make nanite proof iron, which is made with obsidian and a block of iron. So this stuff is not cheap, but it's not too expensive either. And then you can all, then you make a nanite workbench panel to make the nanite workbench. Uh, glass pane, four redstone, and four gold ingots. Uh, you need to make one nanite lava reservoir using six gold and two blocks of iron one nanite water reservoir using six glass and two oak wooden planks uh, and a nanite reservoir using six glass and the two nanite proof iron which you made from there so using this hang on you can make the nanite com combined reservoir which you'll need using the nanite lava reservoir and a nanite water reservoir and to make the nanite workbench, you use everything you used here, plus a chest, so then one nanite combined reservoir, one nanite workbench panel, and one nanite reservoir, combined with five nanite proof iron blocks and a chest. So now that you've got this, you are ready to start, or are you? So using buildcraft pipes, what you're able to do is transport liquids into your newly created nanite workbench so this is a new GUI which I'll go over however what you need to have it you don't need a level of a hundred percent on uh, water lava and nanite but you do need lava water and nanite and so as you can see I've created lava pump which the lava is now depleted but it's full so it's not all gonna go in there uh, there's a nanite well and there's also a water well so that creates uh, that's going into here to supply it with water lava and nanite so uh, for uh, each of these things you can create which are the nanite proof glass nanite tanks and nanite fluids you'll need some of each all right to basically access any one of these as you can see if you look here um, Oh, on the nanite proof glass you can see that there is a gray box outlining the f uh, the four uh, nanite proof glass bo uh, boxes or blocks basically there's a green there's a gr uh, light gray or dark gray box and you can also see over here there's a little uh, lever which is has a green rectangle and an empty space so if you click that the green will turn into red and it's like a little lever system so you can click it and that's either an on or off as I like to call it um, it's an on and off system so when it's green it's locked in it's on and you can't click anything else when it's off you can actually toggle between which one you want to create so you can either create nanite proof glass nanite tank or nanite fluid and for instance if I want to make a nanite tank I'll toggle that from off to on and now it's locked in can't do anything else and to craft it what you take for you know screw it we'll start with the nanite proof glass because the first thing it's the easiest to craft so once again we're gonna go over here toggle it on and now what you need to do is take four sand for um, to craft the four nanite proof glass it's four sand per four nanite proof glass and you take this and it loads and you create oh maybe it's eight nanite oh whatever maybe it's four per eight maybe that's what it is four per eight but you do need four nanite proof uh, four sand to start the uh crafting so now that we created that you can also you can create more if you want but instead what i'm gonna do is switch it to nanite tank because that is another thing that you're going to need to make so I have this written down. Um, can't remember it off the top of my head. What you need is uh, six nanite proof glass blocks, um, iron ingots, which you need 
16 of. And you need redstone. So let's see, you need 32 redstone. And as you can see, it's going to slowly start. Now, if you, now if I were to remove, say, the iron ingots, and I don't have enough iron ingots, then it'll still save the progress. However, if you and if you exit, it'll keep it, just in case you forgot how much you need, and you can go back in and put it in. It'll continue loading. However, if you uh, if you have this locked in and is loading and creating something, and then you go to toggle it to dis to make something else it will instead delete all the progress if you try to go back so don't do that if you're wanting to create it but I mean it'll get rid of all the progress so I'm just gonna wait for this to load up and as you can see over here I have what is being created right now which is the um, nanite tank which needs to be um, which needs to be filled with nanite itself. So I'm just going to hop into creative mode here and start pumping nanite into here. And as you can see, it begins filling up. There's these transparent, um, this is the, the little transparent bars on the side, which tell you how full it is. At, at the beginning, it started basically, it was empty in the beginning. But now, as you can see, it is almost full, and now it is full. Here you can see it's a partially full um, tank. And it actually, I don't know how they did this, but it, they coded it so that it will remember exactly how much there was. So, as you can see, I just broke it, and it will remember how much it was, how much uh, nanite there was in there. So, let's just say you want to take this tank and replace it with another one. Oh another one well you can because now you've got your full tank over here so in a second I'll go over what that does one second let me just fly back over here not much of a flight but all right so here we go we got two nanite tanks for all of the much we, however much we put in the, the redstone and the iron ingots and whatnot all right so the last thing that I want to create and the last thing that you can create is nanite fluid itself so it takes four redstone uh, an iron ingot. Let's just type in ingot. Cause it takes one iron ingot and one uh, gold ingot. I guess I already had some iron. Is that right? Oh, one gold nugget. Whoopsies. Whoopsie. All right, there we go. Um, so it's gonna create it fairly quickly because there's not as many components to it. And what it does is it will get you. Uh, one quarter of a bucket full of nanite fluid And when I say one quarter of a bucket you can't actually really fill the bucket, but that's how much it gives you of it and um, There's an apparently no output. I think what it is is that you need to use pipes and drain and you can drain out of it or, or Hang on a sec. Oh, that's what it does Yes, I've actually filled up the nanite tank over here because you you pull you can actually produce nanite um, and I accidentally filled the tank up by um, filling it with a nanite instead you actually as you can see here in the back and each of these sides is designated so on nanite workbenches water's pumped in there nanite is pumped out of there and um, lava is pumped through there so, as you can see, I obviously screwed that up. Um, whoops. So, let me just grab a... I think it's a wooden fluid pipe? No, no, I don't. I don't know, is it supposed to be that? I'm not very good with these. Um, with, whatchamacallit, with, with uh, build craft pipes. I'm just kind of doing it slightly quite poorly. I, I don't know. Well, sh fuck it. <laughs> or no, are we supposed to... I don't know how you do these things. Is that how... And then you start pumping it out of there. Yes, okay, that's what it is. You can... Alright, that's how you do it. Alright, so that's what you do. And then you can pump out the nanite that you create from there. So, now... The major question is, what can you actually do with these things? Well... If I break this... 
Now I've got a nanite tank. So let's just say I want to put it right here. And now if I right click, oh, there's bats over there. Yeah. So if I right click, I now have a nanite tank with what appears to be, oh, it actually saves mobs too. So it saves what is there. Um, now what you can do is you can take this elsewhere. Let's just say I want to put it down right here and right click again it will swap the area here for what is um, for what I had saved in the tank so as you can see um, everything from there was actually saved into there and it, there you can actually have a little miniature of it and it even saves mod blocks which is pretty good as the super crafting frame from another mod video I've done uh, saved so I think this is actually a pretty awesome mod and as you can see it actually depletes as you go so it started at full and I've done this multiple and multiple times so now you can obviously transport this and maybe want to take the sand this sandstone and move it elsewhere now I'm not really doing much but as you can see it's depleted but it still saves what's in there which is awesome in my opinion and everything breaks into its own different block so I mean there's it's basically replicating the same block there, which is why it's stacking, but normally it wouldn't. So I think that basically covers everything in the mod. Um, like, I don't think I actually mentioned this, but the nanite behaves like water. So you, if you don't try picking up with a bucket, or else you'll get a water bucket, a bucket full of water, rather. And apparently also squids can spawn it, because I found that out the hard way. Huh, hey, look. Speaking of squids, you've got some ink sacs down here. And, um, it's probably, I'm probably forgetting something. However, you know, I don't know. <laughs> um, so I guess on the last notice, of course, you also need bucket, or not bucket, what am I talking about? You also need build craft for this to work. Unless you can find some other way to do it. But, uh, oh yeah, yeah, that's what it was. These, um, the nanite tanks they save 13 by 13 block area so as you can see here it's a 13 by 13 by th actually 13 by 13 by 13 um so it saves 13 blocks up 13 blocks down and 13 blocks all around it so yeah i want to put that here now i've got that here see pretty awesome so many things you can actually i'm assuming you can actually move parts of houses and every well, of course you can move part oh see it even moves no it does not move mobs um i guess it temporarily moves them but then it bugs out so yeah i guess you, what you could use this is moving creations you want to place elsewhere or um perhaps storing lots of stuff in a of lot smaller of an area so if you want maybe have a bunch of chests here or um, maybe you have some chests with whatnot and you want to store some stuff quickly and all that stuff and let's just say you want to put some of that in there and some of that in there and then right click that it'll suck everything into this little block and maybe you have the rest of the building here or it's another building or outside or whatever and you want a little small house portable in one block it saves the chests and all of their contents so uh yeah links will be in the description thank you for watching if you like the video please like it if you dislike please dislike it share it with your friends if you want to i really don't care but please like i said if you do like it go over to the um this is in relation to the mod if you liked it go over to the mod there it's pretty new of a mod so there's not much support on it right now but do tell the mod maker mod makers that you like it because there's multiple mod makers and i'm out